Okay, in this demonstration, I'm going to be showing you how to identify front views from an isometric and finding the correct orthographic projection that matches its front view. So what we have here is at the top of the page, we have um, some isometric shapes, and at the bottom, we have orthographic projections of front views that will match each one of these shapes. Now, the choices at the bottom, 1 through 24, do not cross them off once you use them because they can be used more than once. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few examples at the top of the page just to give you an idea of how this works. So what we're doing here is we're just looking at front views. We are standing in the position of these circles and we are looking at the object from that front view standpoint. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my highlighter and I'm just going to highlight the surface areas that we are going to see in the front view. So that's the first step. What we see is highlighted in yellow. And the next step is going to be for me to take what I see and I'm going to sketch it right next to the shape itself on this assignment. So I'm going to take this here and I'm going to say, what am I going to see when I'm standing right here looking at the front view in this direction, okay? in the front view. I'm going to see this section right here and I'm also going to see this section here right next to it. Now I'm not going to be able to tell that that's sloped backward because when I'm standing here looking at it it's going to look like two flat surfaces like this. So my next thing is to do is go down to the bottom of the page and find the number that corresponds with this shape's front view and I can clearly see that number 12 is an exact match. So I will take the number 12 and I will place it in this circle. Again, I'm not gonna cross this off because I can use it more than once. Next thing, let's go to the next example. And I'm gonna again highlight what I'm going to see in that front view. So in the front view, I'm going to see this surface area right here. And I'm also going to see this surface area right here. Next step is to sketch out what it is I'm going to see. I'm going to see a large square, which will be the entirety of this front view. And then I will see a smaller square right there in the lower left-hand corner of the shape. Okay, so if we look around at the bottom of the page, we can clearly see that number 24 is an exact match. So this answer here would be 24. Let's do one more example. Taking my highlighter, I'm gonna see this surface area here and this surface area here. I'm also gonna see a surface area in the center that's sloped back. So what I'm gonna see in this situation here is gonna be one big square, and then I'm gonna see three individual sections like so. Looking at the bottom of the page, I can clearly see that number two is an exact match. So that's how you do it. And after this demonstration and you complete the front view worksheet, in the next demonstration, I'll be showing you how to look at top views. Good luck.